Hi, how you doing? Mark here. Thanks very much for tuning in. Welcome to another of my time-lapse restoration videos. It's great to have you company. I'll just let you watch through these before videos and I'll be back with you in a bit. Oh, there he is. Here we go then. Restoration of this Mark V Golf is underway, all taped up, and on with the initial dry sanding stage. I'll get back to that in just a minute, but I'd just like to say that at the beginning of this year, I hadn't made a single time-lapse restoration video. And I'll be totally honest with you, I was somewhat daunted by the whole idea. But I decided that I wanted to put concerted effort into my growing my YouTube channel, so plumbed for doing these types of videos. In actual fact, it was because of a conversation with a lovely chap called Jim that I was totally inspired to pull my finger out and start making these very videos. Without Jim's help, guidance and positivity, I wouldn't be chatting to you now on this home crafted video. So thank you very much Jim for the idea and the inspirational chat at the beginning of this year. Jim has a fantastic motoring related channel here on YouTube, so I'd highly recommend you go and check it out as I'm sure you'll enjoy his regularly uploaded content as much as I do. I'll put a link to Jim's channel in the description and one in the comments as well. Definitely not a guru. Well worth checking it out. And thanks again Jim, I really do appreciate everything. So I'm chuffed to say this is my 15th time lapse restoration video now, and I really hope you enjoy it. As much as these videos have been well received, I do plan on making some different videos throughout the coming months. For example, I'm really looking forward to taking you all on a job with me in a feature length day in the life type video of marked improvement headlight restoration. So do keep an eye out for that and all the others and I really look forward to sharing them with you. So let's have a quick catch up on how the restoration's going and I can see that I'm still very much on stage one, the dry sanding. But you can see the headlight is starting to look very smooth and silky, so that's a great sign. Not long now and stage two, the first of the wet sanding stages, is coming up. If you've watched one of these time-lapse videos of mine before, then thanks very much, it's great to have you back. And you might even know about my microfiber cloth OCD. If this is the first time you've watched one of my videos, then it's great to have you here. Stick around to hear more about me and my restoration processes, as I make that headlight look like brand new again. So as I mentioned earlier, today we have a Mark V Volkswagen Golf of course. I've worked on quite a few of these over the years since starting my business in 2018 and I must say I've yet to come across an owner of one of these cars who has anything bad to say about them. And they often have very high miles on the clock as well because as far as I can tell they just go on forever whilst doing so many things very well that people just tend to keep using them until they eventually give up. Which doesn't seem to happen too often to be fair. And in that respect this one was absolutely no exception as the owner told me he was extremely pleased with the car and often covers some quite long distances in it, travelling as part of business or pleasure. If you've ever owned one of these Golfs, then uh, let me know in the comments as I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Now, as can be the case with the reasonable amount of headlights I work on, these weren't in terrible shape, it has to be said. I've certainly seen a lot worse, and I don't think they'd have failed an MOT, they might not have even been an advisory. But, the owner didn't like the fact that they weren't lighting up the road at night as well as he thought they should. He was very keen to have them restored, hopeful this would make his nighttime driving much easier. Well, I know for a fact that that would be the case, but of course, he didn't know until the restoration had been completed. The owner of this Golf actually runs a local business here in Deal, Kent, and he's been very supportive of my business since the beginning in 2018. So it's great to finally carry out a restoration on his own vehicle so he could see firsthand the quality of my work that he's been kind enough to promote over the years. This was a fairly typical restoration job for me, and each headlight took around two hours to complete. From experience, I can tell you these units often come up very nice, as the plastic used for these headlights appears to be very good quality. As you'll soon see in the after videos, they did come through and we ended up with a great end result. Wicked. And I've got to say, no matter how many times I manage to turn headlights around like this, it still gives me a great deal of satisfaction doing so. 
A quick check in on the restoration then and I can see that we are now on the wet sanding stages. And if you have watched any of my time lapse restoration videos before and do know about my microfiber cloth OCD, then you'll know from the colour of the cloth exactly what stage I'm on. And you'll get a Brucey bonus point for knowing what colour cloth I'll be using on the next stage. It's all very exciting stuff around here. And talking of exciting, whilst carrying out the restoration, I probably would be getting a little bit excited. And you'll know that as well if you've watched other videos of mine. And that's because I'm past stage one, the dry sanding stage, where most of the hard work and preparation takes place. And now, working through stage two, the first wet sanding stage, I can really start to see the headlight coming back to me. And that tells me that we're probably going to end up with a great result. And you can really start to see that on the video, especially when I clear the headlight with some isopropanol. Very smooth and very clear, even at this stage. And as if by magic, whilst I've been waffling on, we have moved on to the final hand sanding stage, the last of the two wet sanding stages. And this is where you really do now start to see the headlight clearing through and getting ready for the two machine polishing stages, which aren't too far away, which also means the result is just around the corner. So look forward to the after videos and the result of my hard work and patience. And on the subject of patience, I've got to say, restoring headlights in this way properly does take a lot of patience. And fortunately, I do have a lot of patience, but I've restored many headlights over the years and I love doing it still to this day. And I think that is the single main reason why I still get such great results because I don't cut any corners, I won't waste any time and I just absolutely love trying to get a result for every single customer that comes my way. Talking of which, when the owner came back to collect the car, he could not believe quite how good the headlights looked. He told me that he never realised they would actually come up looking so good, so that was great news, always pleasing to hear. I've seen the owner since actually, and he's told me that friends have asked him if he'd fitted new headlights to his Golf. They couldn't believe his cloudy old headlights had been restored back to looking as good as they did. That is why I love doing what I do. Wicked. Back to the restoration then for the final time. And you can see that I'm on the last of the polishing stages. Soon to be sealing up twice over. And then you'll be able to enjoy the after videos. And it's worth pointing out that even though you can see how clear the headlight is now and it's ultimately finished other than sealing, I think it's always well worth seeing those after videos, especially when compared to the before videos. The contrast is quite astounding. As ever then, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thanks very much for watching my video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to me, then please do so. As like I said earlier, I've got some great video ideas lined up and I'm looking forward to sharing them with you. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. And that is what I do. Please like and subscribe. Rest assured, there's plenty more to come.